Hello, YouTube friends. I want to give a big shout out to my favorite boxer in this day and time, Bud Crawford. Uh, does that mean I do not like Errol Spence? No, it does not. He's easily my second or third favorite, as a matter of fact. Uh, I want to talk a, <clears throat> a couple of things about that. Excuse me. <coughs> We've been very sick with vicious colds and or flu in this house this week. Uh, and we, boy, we've been pushed to the limit in every single possible way there can be, it seems like. Uh, I made a video about an experience with the people we leased this apartment from. Uh, if you guys want to go back and look at that, that would have been the last video where I'm on it. Uh, but we've been very sick this week. Uh, but I want to talk about the fight last night. Uh, we did not get to watch it live. Uh, we've been very sick. Uh, due to the internet, we were able to wake up this morning and see what happened because we were in the bed early. Uh, Joe is so regimented, he will not stay up till 11 or 12 o'clock to watch any fight, no matter what it is. Uh, but of course he watches them, you know, magic of the internet, you can watch it the next day. If he ever gets to the point where he can go see these big fights or actually maybe be so lucky as is he is invited to these big fights, I, don't, I can't see him breaking his regimen to even do that. I, uh, if he gets to going good and can decide the time of day, he'll have afternoon fights. I just, I, I can't see this nighttime thing with him. But, you know, he's young yet, so he can grow. Anyway, the fight was awe-inspiring. The guy who really was not supposed to win, the guy who was too small, the guy who was really not good enough, uh, the guy who was not strong enough, won. And when he did, and he won very convincingly, very convincingly. Uh, it was almost uh, a non-competitive fight. Now, almost. And I'm not taking anything away from Spence. Uh, as a matter of fact, Spence handled that defeat with more grace than I've seen a fighter handle defeat in maybe 20 years, in my humble opinion. Those are the two types of guys that are the best to promote what this sport should be. Uh, Number one, they both put it all on the line, and they did it. I hope they do a rematch. I hope they do a rematch at 154, so that way it's more, uh, you, could, you could say, more fair for uh, Spence because, you know, the excuses are coming out on the weight thing now. Uh, which Spence was not making those excuses, by the way. He handled himself as a gentleman. The gold standard of the sport when you take a loss. Go look at Errol Spence. It's the gold standard. I didn't get into and or start talking about this fight in a big way. I think I said on the show where 
I got to talk to Zeke Castro and uh, Zeke Sr., his dad. Uh, I think one of them asked me who I had in the fight, and I said, I, think, I thought Crawford would win. Uh, I'd have to even go back and look at that. Maybe I didn't say it there. Uh, but I just I felt he was going to win, and, and I'll give you the reasons why in just a second. Uh, but why I didn't get in the middle of it is because these fans banging heads so bad. And the Spence fans, uh, Lord have mercy, does he have loyal fans? Uh, they are vicious, boy. Woo! Uh, vicious. But I guess Crawford people are too. And I may be biased on that. I just looked at Spence fan aggressiveness or something and didn't really look at Crawford fan aggressiveness. Maybe they're both the same. Anyway, it was I didn't want to get in the middle of all that. I just was glad that they had the fight and I wanted to see it. And, wow, what a good one. What a good one. Um, no excuses uh, from Spence. No excuses from his team. Uh, everybody stand up. No rubbing anything in by the winners, by the Crawford team. Perfect, perfect representatives. Uh, the two fighters and their two teams. Perfect representatives for boxing. Uh, Now, there were things that I heard Crawford say before, that Bud said before, that there's no way I could bet against Bud Crawford. No way. Uh, against anyone. And I, here's the reasons. Number one, you hear things like, oh, well, God, uh, Crawford overtrains. He is going to be the victim of overtraining. He trains too much. To you young guys out there, don't buy that mess. You need uh, recuperation for your body, but there's ways you can train seven days a week and recuperate the muscle groups a good 24 or even a 48-hour period to let those muscles recuperate while you're doing other things. So, uh, we, I've never, uh, <clears throat> took viable the, the excuse of overtraining ever. And I never will. But then again, that's me. Uh, I do believe the, I'll throw this in there and then I'll get back on why I knew, I, I was extremely confident that Crawford was not going to only win, but win big. Uh, well, no, I'll save that to the end. A thing Crawford kept saying, uh, said at the end, he said, uh, in before fights. He said, Every, everybody keeps saying I'm too small, but we end up finding I'm too strong. They all keep telling me, hey, you're too small. And they all keep finding out I'm, I'm too strong. And that's an uh, innerness. That's something from the inside that is a character that produces winners in this sport. People with that type of attitude. And it's terribly difficult to go against that. I watched a little bit. I stayed away from it, but as much as I could, but couldn't help myself. So I watched a few boxing channels on, uh, 
on the deal. I'll mention the boxing channels that what they said I agreed with wholeheartedly. Uh, so I'll mention them by name. Uh, the punching bag, bag skunk, uh, Ghetto Greg, Greg Towns, he was uh, talking uh, from a fan perspective. Uh, about fans, a fan perspective about fans. And he said that uh, the Spanish community, the Latino community, it's like they had just stuck the Spence Crawford fight to the wayside and weren't getting involved and nonchalant, kind of like that. Of course, I'm paraphrasing it. And he was like, stand the heck up. You know, we know we know your fans too of these respective fighters, and I agree with that a hundred percent. So although I didn't say I didn't I didn't really get involved with any of the pre-fight stuff, uh, I had different reasons. But I agreed wholeheartedly with what he was saying, uh, and it was a great perspective, and I believe it to be a truthful perspective and he didn't hold back he never does he's like I usually am I'm just sick right now I'd be more boisterous I suppose uh, and the boxing scholar that starts with the DA the boxing scholar he had a video up yesterday and uh, this guy is really great at breaking fights down. I realize why he's, why scholars uh, in the name because uh, he is a scholar of boxing. And he had breakdowns of both the guys, both the fighters. And he, he uh, 99 out of 100 times he's going to pick a winner. Uh, or, or pick who he believes is going to win. Uh, it's usually always the case because uh, he's that great at breaking the techniques down and what fighters do. Uh, uh, me and Joe often talk about if he moves up the line where he, uh, if we can afford him, he'll be in Joe's corner. Hands down. He will be there. Uh, but he had really just laid a simple video out, but uh, what he was talking about was not really simple. But it was the techniques and what both guys have had done in, in, in some previous uh, matchups. And uh, he said hey, either guy can win, uh, and uh, he was really uh, now I'm paraphrasing again. Uh, paraphrasing him, I don't, I don't, I don't want to call this one. This is going to be interesting. And but I saw a couple of things that he put up that uh, <coughs> reaffirmed my feelings. Now this is my feelings, not the technical side of it. But he put a couple of things up in that that were technical. That re reaffirmed my feelings that Crawford was going to really win big last night. And he did. So uh, my hat's off to those guys. They're really off to those guys. Uh, great fight. I hope we have the next one. I hope Bud will move up. And I hope they do it at 154. Uh Whoever wins, I like both the guys, uh, but I'm a Crawford guy. I'm a, I'm a Bud Crawford guy, uh, and I want Bud to win. Uh, he's my favorite fighter. It's my guy. That's my guy. And uh, I love him. I love his family. I love the way they conduct themselves. I love him. I love his team. I love the way they conduct themselves. Uh, perfect setup. Perfect head trainer. Uh, 
a guy that's not trying to grasp up all the glory. Uh, he's like, this is everybody had their part, and it, and it clicked like clockwork. And oh boy, my hats is off to his training, and all of those guys. Beautiful set of guys. Beautiful set of guys. Couldn't find no better. Uh, now, am I taking away from Spence's guys? No. Nothing taken away from, from them guys. Uh, but we're just talking on the, the congrats from Croft, uh, how great of people they are. Bud and everybody, just great people. Great people. Uh, heard some remarks that Spence his parties a little too much, and that might have been what got. I don't know. I, not looking at all this stuff. I do look at like like Tank Davis goes out and does something crazy and gets himself in trouble, and maybe I talk a little bit about that here or there. But otherwise, I don't get in what these guys do. It's none of my business, really. And uh, I, I love them for the the sportsmanship of themselves. Uh, more than their fashion statements and, you know, drama-filled lives, which they all have. And that goes back to uh, people like Custy Amato saying, no matter what's going on in your life, the mark of a champion is all hell's breaking loose around you, drama, bad things, but you keep training. And that's how champions born. That's how they're made. And uh, boy, we've been sure having a lot of that around here. A lot of it. Uh, just a lot of mess, guys, going on here where we are. A lot of discrimination, a lot of ugliness, uh, just a lot of bad things. Had our car. Uh, in Bogota, and it got picked up and towed by the, uh, I don't know, the car people. They came down and saw that the car wasn't inspected. It ran past inspection. They got our car, so we had to pay to get that out and then get it inspected and then get it somewhere else because uh, don't feel good about it in the parking lot here where I live. Uh, so just a bunch of other stuff too so but we keep training through these things the only thing that's uh slowed us down in any way shape or form is just been illness like this week uh, it's two days uh joe didn't train and i didn't even attempt to do anything uh because we've just been that sick and uh so really did we you worked out thursday right joe joseph joseph you worked out Thursday, right? Um, just Friday you did. Yeah, just Friday. Uh, yeah, so we took Friday, Saturday, and, and now Sunday will be off. So uh, he's get, he's feeling a lot better, so I'm sure he'll be back at it tomorrow. And we will resume with what we do and get all these other issues took care of, hopefully. Uh, but the moral of that is just keep going. Right, keep going. Um, you can't stop. And uh, I want to tell everybody here, uh, Zeke Castro is going to be fighting today. I can't remember uh, what time it will be. I'm not sure really if I was told the time, the time of, of or the estimated time, because uh, it is an amateur tournament boxing. Uh, but when they get that fight up, I'm going to share it out. You all need to watch this guy. Zeke Castro, boy, this kid's something else. And uh, Kirk Williams, he just put a video out. I believe it was this morning. And uh, showing himself doing a little bag work. And Kirk, we're glad you put that out. And uh, we wish you luck. We know you're very busy with... Uh, uh, university work and uh, training and everything. God bless you, brother. 
You're doing a great job. We love you. Zeke, good luck today. We love you. I'm looking for a knockout. <clears throat> Zeke, anything less than a knockout of the other guy would be uncivilized. Ask, ask your daddy what that means. It would be uncivilized. So I'm expecting a knockout, Zeke. So to everyone, much love to you. Uh, great fight. Uh, can't wait till the whole thing's out where I can watch the whole fight. I haven't, I haven't uh, seen online where they got the whole fight, but I have seen the highlights. Uh, Post-fight show I got to see and all that. And very happy for Bud Crawford. Uh, in my humble opinion, he is the pound-for-pound pound king. Mm -hmm. We are in the Crawford era. If he continues, this will be the Crawford era. Uh, like we had the May, uh, Mayweather era, we're going to have the Crawford era. And uh, kudos, couldn't happen to a better guy, more humble, hard worker, uh, working guy that you want, would want your, your young boys to develop into a, a man like that like him and uh, much love to everybody thank you for watching this video and we'll see you later